video. So instead of talking about my favourites, I wanted to share with you guys some products that I was really disappointed in, or as you would call them, crap products. <laughs> now I personally um, love watching these videos. I think they're really informative and just useful to watch because it just kind of tells all of us um, what products not to buy because they're just so crap. <laughs> so I thought I would do this video myself and hopefully help you guys out and kind of prevent you guys from buying all these things that I did buy and I just hate that I spent the money on them. So first I'm going to start with makeup and first I actually have two mascaras and these two mascaras are really popular here on YouTube so I was really disappointed that I hate these <laughs> but um, I don't know I just can't stand them. I don't know maybe it's just me personally and like my eyelashes are weird I have no idea but I just really don't like these. So first is the Revlon Grow Luscious and I've seen quite a lot of girls really kind of rave about this but I just can't seem to make this work for me. I really don't know, it makes my eyelashes really kind of, it makes them look a lot shorter than they actually are which is really weird. I've never experienced a mascara that does do that so I don't know how that works but it just makes my eyelashes really short, really kind of not voluminous, not really kind of, what's the word, rich and kind of gorgeous. I don't know, it just makes them look really horrible. And it's really strange because the brush is actually quite big. It's a really big, like, fluffy brush, but I don't know. I just hate this. Crap. <laughs> um, next is a mascara, and this, once again, is really popular, and it's the Bourjois Volumizer Mascara, and this is just a kind of a two-step one. So first you have, um, for kind of definition, a small brush, and then a really fat one for volume and length and all that kind of stuff. Now this, I think this is like the worst mascara I've ever tried. I hate it so much. <laughs> the first brush, which is supposed to be for definition, it just does not do anything for me. I don't see any effect on my eyelashes. It doesn't separate them. It doesn't, it just doesn't do anything. So first step is crap. The next step is even more crap, <laughs> if that's even possible. So this brush is supposed to be for volume, as I said. And I don't find that it adds any volume, it just kind of makes my eyelashes stick together, it makes them really clumpy, really gooey, it just applies way too much um, product that actually needs to apply and in the end I just end up with one big eyelash instead of like really gorgeous spread out eyelashes which is just so bad and this is not even a cheap mascara, it's like over £10. So really disappointed with this, don't buy it. Next have a lip stain and I was really looking forward to buying this when it first came out. I was really excited and it's the Colour Sensational one from Maybelline and oh my god I hate this stuff. <laughs> this is in the colour 150 Tender Rose and it's just a kind of classic marker lip stain thing. And the reason why this is so bad is it just does not last. It lasts even less than like a lipstick or a lip gloss. It's just ridiculous. It's like in an hour it's gone. Even though it's supposed to be a lip stain so it's supposed to last, well not all day, but it's supposed to be a lot um, longer lasting than any other lip product. But this is just so bad. Um, <laughs> it's annoying because the smell is really nice and the colour is really pretty as well but it just it doesn't last. Which tell me guys if you have the same problem with this or not because I don't know maybe it's just my lips. I have no idea but I just hate this. <laughs> Next I have a nail polish and I'm really disappointed and really kind of sad that I don't like this because it's from Bourjois which I absolutely love this brand. I think it's one of the best drugstore ones. I love all of their products, but this is just so crap. <laughs> and it's the Solac Ultra Shine um, nail polish, and I can't even find the colour, which is just more crap. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see kind of the colour. I bought this in winter, and I just thought it would be a really pretty shade. It's kind of like a concrete greyish purpley shade, and I just thought it would look really nice because at the time I was really pale and these type of colours tend to look really nice on pale skin but okay I have to admit the colour is really pretty but the problem with this is that it doesn't last for even like one day as soon as you apply it it just starts to chip and the next morning you wake up and you have no nail polish on your nails which is just so bad and this is not um, kind of like a cheap product and um, I don't know I was just really disappointed because I thought Bourjois would have nice nail polishes but obviously they don't so I don't recommend this at all. <laughs> So um, since we're sticking with nail products, next is something I actually received in my glossy box a few months back and it's the Press on Manicure Impress, I guess it's what it's called and I've seen and heard and read a lot of girls say that they really like it and it's just kind of um, a good alternative to acrylic nails but for me I just hate this stuff and the reason is <laughs> I just can't get the actual kind of nail things to fit on my nails. I have really kind of big and wide nails and this just, it doesn't even cover half of the nail. 
which I think is really disappointing. They should really kind of cater to all different nail shapes and nail sizes. So I don't know, the color is really pretty. I was really excited when I first got this. Um, I thought it'd be really nice, but I can't get them to fit on my nails, which is just so crap. <laughs> Next I have a foundation and this is the last makeup product, yes, and okay, I wasn't expecting a lot from this because, I don't know why, I just, I wasn't expecting a lot, but it turned out to be even more crap than I thought it would be, and it's the Stella Illuminating Liquid Foundation, and I don't see a lot of people talk about this, maybe that's the reason why, maybe it's just so bad that people don't even buy it, but I got it and I'm just really sad that I did, um, so this is in the color 20 watts and it's supposed to be like i thought this would be similar to the rebel photo ready because it has um like loads of illuminating particles when i tried it install it had loads of like shimmering um particles in it which i really don't mind i think it's nice it kind of really brightens up your complexion and just makes you look really healthy and like really glowy skin but this I don't know, the formula is just so bad that when you apply it, it kind of separates on your face and you end up with blotches. I don't know if it has like too much oil or too much water or maybe it has oil and water so they kind of separate as soon as you apply it on your face and you just end up with like one cheek being um, full coverage, another cheek just with no foundation on it and just kind of blotches and it just looks so bad. I tried it once and I haven't used it since because it's just so bad. <laughs> so I really would recommend this to you guys. Um, I don't know, tell me if you like it, but I really doubt that anyone can like it. So <laughs> really don't recommend this. Next, I have two hair products and I was really disappointed that I did not like these because they're not like cheapy products. Cheapy, is that even a word? I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, first is from James Brown, which I think you can only get in the UK, I'm not sure, tell me if you can get it in the US or other countries. Um, and this is just a hair um, revive dry shampoo, it's supposed to revitalise oily hair for a fresh, just washed feel. And this is even worse than like, it's just like putting crap in your hair basically. It does not get rid of the oiliness, it just makes your hair look even more oily than it already is, which is just so kind of, I don't know what they're thinking when they made this, I mean... Are you stupid people? <laughs> I really don't know what they put in this, but when you spray it on your hair, it just makes it really sticky. It makes it even more oily and greasy and just disgusting. So don't buy this, this is crap. <laughs> and then the final product is actually from Tresemme and I don't even know why I got this because I don't like any Tresemme products. I don't use them. Kind of from my past experience, I just, I don't like anything from them. Shampoos, conditioners, anything, I just hate it. So I don't know why I got this. I guess I, um, I thought I was like, Maybe they've changed their products, maybe I like this, but I did not like it, surprisingly. <laughs> um, this is the Tresemme 24 Hour Body Root Boosting Spray. Now, I have really fine hair and I'm always looking for like volumizing sprays and all that kind of stuff. So I thought, okay, maybe this will kind of lift up my roots and make my hair really voluminous and really kind of gorgeous, but it did not do anything. It just felt like putting water in my roots. I didn't feel any product in my hair, I didn't feel my hair thickening or being more voluminous or just, I didn't feel anything, it was just like, I don't know what they have in this. It doesn't even, let me smell it. Yeah, it smells like sweet water, it's like they mixed water with sugar and that is what you're putting in your hair. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to have any like hold, any texture, anything. So. If you're looking for like a volume boosting spray or anything to put volume in your hair, this is not the one for you. It's just really bad and I don't recommend it. So these are all the crap products. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. <laughs> tell me if you like um, watching these type of videos and if you want to see me do more of these, um, definitely do tell me. Don't forget to check out my blog. I will have pictures and all that kind of stuff on there as always and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!